What is your dream? Do you have a dream for God? If not, maybe you should. In 2 Samuel chapter 7, David's sitting on his throne one day and says, Hey, I've built this amazing place, this house for myself out of cedar, and you're living in a tent, God. This isn't right. I'm going to build you a house, something that's nice like I've got. And he says to his buddy, the, the prophet Nathan, Hey, Nathan, what would you think about me building a house for God? And Nathan says, If it's in your heart, you need to go and do that. So he says, it's done, finished. I'm going to build God a house. Now, God 400 years earlier had given specific instructions to Moses about the kind of tabernacle he wanted built. It was a tent. It was move, moved around from place to place. And God was okay with that. In fact, when David says to God, you know, the next day, hey, I'm going to do this for you. God says, I don't really need that. I don't really need a house like that. And I don't want you to do it. But I love that you had the dream. And so because you had that dream, David, I'm going to build your house. But I've already got a house. No, I'm going to build your dynasty, your sons and their sons and their sons. This is going to be the house I built. And one day the Messiah is going to come through you. The house of David. I'm going to build your house. I love your heart. David didn't get discouraged. David didn't even get a reason. God didn't even tell him why until years later he realized, well, because I'm a man of war, God called me to get peace in the nation, hand it over my son, and he wouldn't be a man of war, and he would be the man to build Solomon's temple. And so David gathered all the materials and the money, massive amounts of money together to build the temple. He didn't get discouraged. He didn't say, well, God didn't want my help. Dream for God. Most of us say, how little can I do for God and get by? No, think what you can do for God. Have a dream for him. And don't be discouraged if it doesn't come to fruition. Keep dreaming. God will let you accomplish some of those dreams for him. And for the ones that you don't, he's going to say, I'm proud of you. You're dreaming for me. You're not dreaming for yourself. You're not saying, how can I make myself better and be more popular? No, you're saying, what can I do for the kingdom of God? Those are the dreams that God loves. Get one today. Ask God, give me a dream. I promise you he will.